Alright, yo, what's going on everyone? It's Smitty back with another video. Today, I'm just gonna really quickly show you how you can get thousands of custom skins on Minecraft for your Xbox. Any custom Bedrock skin pack will work with this method. The skins show up for people, they work on servers, and it's really cool all around. If you have any issues, I can definitely help you at my Discord down below, and I'll also put a lot of fixes in the pinned comment. But without any further ado, let's get into how to get those custom skin packs. The first thing we're gonna do is download one file explorer app, so go to your Microsoft shop on your console and then you want to go to the search bar and very simple once you're at the search bar go ahead and type in my files explorer and you want to download this purple application right here this is the one get that installing onto your Xbox it'll cost two dollars and sixty cents but there is a one-day free trial and if you want a 100% free method to getting add-ons I'll have a playlist link down below to some videos that are completely free but nevertheless get my files explorer onto your device after you've done that, we're going to go ahead and get the download link to our modification. So go to your My Games and Apps right here, go down to where it says Apps on the left side, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to find Microsoft Edge. Every Xbox will have it, and launch Microsoft Edge so we can search the internet. And then you can just go to this top search bar right here, and for this video, I'm going to show how to get the YouTuber skin pack, MCPEDL. So that's what I enter into the search bar, MCPEDL is just a completely bedrock site, so there's a lot of cool skin packs for you on that website. But this skin pack right here will have a couple thousand skins of your favorite YouTubers. So that's the one I'm gonna show for this video. If you wanna download the same one as me, go ahead and enter this into your search bar. And then after pressing enter, very simple, it will be the top search result right here, the Minecraft YouTubers 340 new skins right here on MC Pedal. Press on that link and it will look like this. And from this link, all you wanna do is go way down to the bottom, scroll past all the skins. There's a lot to the download links. And from these download links, we just wanna take the top one, part one, .mc pack. It's got about 2,000 skins in it. There's also a part two you can download later using the exact same process if you want. But press on that .mc pack top link. After doing that, it'll give you this green link that says you're leaving mcpedl.com. That's perfect. Press that green link in the middle of your screen. And after you press on that green link, it'll then load you to a site called Linkvertise. You'll see the icon right here loading in the middle of your screen. And once you see that icon, what we want to do now is copy our URL at the top of the screen. So go ahead up here to where it says linkvertise.com, hover over it with your cursor, and then press the button with the three lines on it on your controller. And after you do that, you'll get these options. And from these options, you want to go down to where it says copy because we want to copy this entire URL. Once you have that done, go up to this plus button up here to create a new tab on Microsoft Edge. Press that plus. Then you want to go ahead and search up the bypasser just like this, the space bypasser. We're going to bypass this link. Press enter, and after you press and enter from uh, entering the bypasser, you'll get these options right here, and we want to find the online one right here, link for ties bypasser online. So this is the one I'm looking for, and I press on that. And after we press on this link, the website will look like this. And what we want to do is hover over this white box in the middle with your cursor, press the button with the three lines on it on your controller, and then go to where it says paste to paste in that entire URL. And after you have that all pasted in there, just go to that green button that says bypass ad link right there. You press on that bypass ad link, give it a little bit of time, and then eventually it will spit out a mediafire.com URL in this bypass links down here, and that is the blue link that you want to press on. And once you press on that, it will take you to your Mediafire download page right here, but because we are on Microsoft Edge, we can't download it right here. So instead, what we're gonna do is copy the URL at the top of your screen one more time. So go up to where it says Mediafire.com up here, hover over it with your cursor, press the button with the three lines on it yet again, and then go to where it says copy right here, and we're gonna copy that entire Mediafire URL, and then you're good to close out of internet browser right here. And once you have that copied, you're actually good to close out of Microsoft Edge completely. And now we're gonna go back into that application that we downloaded, My Files Explorer. So open up My Files Explorer. Once you are loaded in, it will look like this. And you wanna to go to where it says install from store right here. And we're gonna press on that left button. So once you press on that left button, it will then take you to the Microsoft shop and it will make you download another app called Expansion for Explorers. And this is perfect. Go ahead and press install on that and get that installing onto your device. And once that is done installing right here, you'll see it in your recently installed, go ahead and launch Expansion for Explorers. And once you're inside of Expansion for Explorers, what you wanna do is go to the top left where it says download from URL right here, and we're gonna press on that button. After you press on that, you wanna to go to the top right here, and we're gonna paste in our URL by first pressing A, and then the button with the three lines on it. And once you do that, it'll basically give you these options. And from these options, you wanna to go to where it says paste. So we're just pasting in that entire download link. And after you press on paste, what you wanna do is go back up and hover over this box 
press A on it, that will update it, and you will now see your Mediafire link in there. And then just simply press this next arrow right here to enter in that uh, input right there. And once you press that next arrow, it'll take you to your Mediafire page. And now we can press that blue download button, which is perfect. So we get that downloading onto our console. You'll see it on the right side of your screen. And once that's done, it will automatically take you to this page right here, and you will see your skin pack in here. And all you want to do is hover over it with your cursor, press the button with the three lines on it, and then go down to where it says copy file right here, and we're just going to copy that because we have to move it. Then you want to go to the left side of your screen and you'll see this packages folder. If you don't have this packages folder, reinstall expansion and then it should show up. But after pressing on the packages folder, you'll see all these different folders, and we want to go ahead and find the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP folder. Uh, within these folders and there is a chance that you won't have this folder if you don't have this folder i'll have a video link down below you can basically add in the folder yourself very simple if you don't have it move your cursor way to the right side of your screen press the button with the three lines on it and then go to where it says new folder and that will allow you to create a new folder and you have to name it exactly as it's shown on your screen right there at the very top microsoft.minecraft uwp but i'll assume you have this folder so if you have this microsoft.minecraft folder go ahead and click on it after clicking on it, you then want to find the local state folder right here. Again, if you don't have the local state folder, you can simply just add it in yourself by going over here, go to new folder. But you want to go and find that local state folder and press on it. Then you want to find the games folder and press on the games folder. And then lastly, you want to see this com.mojang folder and we're going to press on the com.mojang folder. Once you are inside of the com.mojang folder, make sure you have all these behavior underscore packs, resource underscore packs, skin underscore packs, and Minecraft worlds folders created. You need to have those, but make sure you have all those folders made. And because we are getting a skin pack, go ahead and find the skin underscore packs folder and click on it. And once you are inside of the skin underscore packs folder, find any open white space, hover over it with your cursor, press the button with the three lines on it, and then go ahead and paste in your skin pack into the skin underscore packs folder. And that should be perfect, there it is. Everything looks great. And now there is one more step that we have to do, the reinstall method. And we have to do this reinstall method in order to load add-ons onto our Minecraft, because with this reinstall method, we're basically gonna completely uninstall Minecraft off of our console. And then we go to the Microsoft shop and we download an older version of Minecraft that allowed add-ons. And then we're gonna update that version of Minecraft to the newer version, and then we will have our add-ons. And kind of a little disclaimer, there is a chance that doing this method could actually set your worlds back in progress or corrupt some of your worlds. There is a chance, that's never happened for me. It does happen to some people. And honestly, I think for the large majority of people, it works fine, but I will give you that disclaimer and I unfortunately don't know if that'll happen to you or not. I don't know any signs to look out for if your worlds will get corrupted, but I need to let you know there is a risk to doing this. But if you don't really care, this will basically work for you to get add-ons. This is how you do the reinstall method. Okay, so where I'm at right now, I I have all my Minecrafts completely uninstalled off of your Xbox. I have no Minecraft right now, and we're gonna go to the Microsoft shop. We're gonna go to the search bar, and we're gonna type in SpongeBob, and you're gonna see this Minecraft SpongeBob add-on for $8. Don't worry, we're not gonna buy anything, but go to this Minecraft SpongeBob add-on, and once you're at this page, scroll down to where it says works with right here, and you'll see this Minecraft, and that is the proper Minecraft that we want to install now. And it should say install right here, and you just wanna get that installing. If it says not sold separately or not currently available, well, go ahead and download the Game Pass version of Minecraft, the normal Minecraft, and open up that Minecraft and have it running in your background, and then come back to the special Minecraft, and it should let you get it installing. But we're gonna press installing on this Minecraft, and that'll send it to our queue. It'll be a little like under a gigabyte there. Let it install. And once this special Minecraft is done installing, it'll go to your recently installed right here, and you just wanna simply press on it yet again. And this time it'll say Minecraft needs an update that's zero kilobytes right here. And you wanna go to where it says update and press on that. And honestly, for me on old gen this update takes like 35 minutes it takes a long time if you're on newer gen it'll probably go faster but right here so i just leave my console for about 30 minutes i come back and eventually the special minecraft will be installed and once you load it up congratulations very simply to apply your skins just go to your dressing room on the right side of your screen right here you want to go to this left bar and you want to go down to where it says classic skins and after you press on classic skins, you will then see all of your custom skin packs appear under own skins, and that is perfect. You can press on them, go ahead and navigate through all these thousands of skins, pick whichever one you want, press equip, and you will then have your skin. And enjoy it, everyone. Hopefully this helped you all out. It's been Smitty, and until the next one, peace out.